All right, hey guys, uh, we're going to be creating a tr realistic, true first person character in Unreal Engine 5 today. So I'm going to tell you the things that we're going to be doing in this tutorial, just in case um, you're curious. So we're going to be changing from the third person to first person perspective. So as you can see in this tutorial, I did choose the third person template since this is a true first person um, perspective. We do want to have um, the person's body in it. So we want to be able to see ourselves. We want to be able to move around and see uh, the hands move, the feet move, whatever. We're also going to be changing the speed of the character to make sure that they are able to be correspondent with the true first person type of mindset. And we're going to be creating a uh, sprint functionality. In this tutorial, we are going to be doing those three things. And then in the next tutorial, we're going to be creating a depth of field system as well as a head bobbing system to go along with our sprint functionality. So let me know if you do want that tutorial because it's kind of going to be an extension off of this one and I might actually make this a series if people do like it. So first things first, let's change from the third person to first person perspective. So let's go and rename this um, third person BP. We don't want that anymore. We're going to change it BP underscore first person character. Let's open that up and then let's go and uh, change a couple things. So as you can see, this is in a third person perspective with the camera boom. So we're going to get rid of the camera boom, the follow camera. Let's make it on the mesh and let's actually call this first person camera and while we're on this camera let's make sure we change it to use pawn control rotation because that's how we are going to be able to control it with the pawn and let's also go into the bp underscore first person camera and make sure it is using um control rotation yaw Okay, those are the two things we're going to need to make sure are true. And then let's also grab this camera that we're going to be seeing out of and make sure that it is parent, uh, the parent socket is to the head. So it is following the head as you move. Uh, this is integral to make sure it's a true first person. So let's rotate it. Let's make it go onto the head and you can kind of change this and put it wherever you would like. But for the case of this tutorial, I think that's a good area. Let's maybe move it down a little bit, up a little bit. That's good. Um, then let's go and change the speed of the character. So let's go into the character and go to the max walk speed and let's change it from 500. Uh, since this is going to be a true first person, we kind of want to make it more realistic. So let's go 200 for the max walk speed. And then for the max walk uh, speed crouch, let's make it 100. And then for the min analog walk speed, let's make it zero. That's always what I usually do for that because um, that is the default. So let's grab those things, make sure those are set. And then um, also for the air control, I like to make that zero because when you're jumping, it's kind of more realistic if you're not able to like move in air. <laughs> so yeah, let's then go on to creating the sprint functionality. Uh, so you can um, move faster. So as you can see right now, if I go into play, and make this a little bit bigger, you can move and see out of your uh, third person, what was third person character. And now it is a first person character. You can see your hands and arms move. You can jump up here or whatever and or maybe you can't <laughs> and then you can um, be able to walk and not sprint yet but let's create that functionality now as you can see this is technically a true first person perspective but we're going to be adding on to it a little bit just in case you guys wanted a sprint functionality so let's do that now so the third the, the thing we're going to want to do first is we're going to want to go into our inputs into our input actions and we're going to want to uh, we could just duplicate jump and create ia underscore sprint and save that let's go into our mapping context and let's go to create a new mapping for sprint ia underscore sprint and for my sake i'm going to change it to left shift save everything and then let's go into our bp underscore first person character and into our enhanced uh, action for sprint and open this up and for triggered we're going to want to do one thing which is like start sprinting and then for completed we're going to want to stop sprinting so i like to usually handle this with two different functions so let's uh create a function for start sprinting um and then also a function for stop sprinting let's go into our start sprinting and let's make sure that the first thing we're going to want to do is we're going to want to create a boolean for are you sprinting because um, for most cases, I'm not sure, uh, for this tutorial sake, it will, it'll matter as much, but if you're trying to make like a stamina system or uh, a hunger system that sees like if you're sprinting and it goes down, you're going to want to have a Boolean that that'll tell you if you're sprinting or not. So it's just good practice. So let's make a variable 
um, is sprinting question. First thing we're going to want to do is set that variable to true when we are sprinting. And then we're going to want to go off of this and actually change the character movement component, um, in particular, the max walk speed. So the max walk speed, oops, we're going to want to set max walk speed. And we're going to want to set it to a value that would uh, symbolize that we are sprinting versus walking. So let's actually promote this to a variable so we can change it for um, anything else. If we have multiple different like sprinting uh, values or however you want to make your game, so let's make it sprint speed. And let's clean this up a little bit. And then we're going to want to set that sprint speed to, I don't know, since our regular walk speed is 200, let's make it 350 for sprint speed. Great. And then we're going to want to then go into our stop sprinting. And again, go to our is sprinting boolean. We're going to want to set that. So you can actually, I don't know if you guys know this, you can drag off of this. And if you drag off, it'll say get or set, but let's drag off it while we're holding alt and it will automatically go set. Um, the vice versa is true. If you hold uh, control, it will get the get. So let's hold alt, drag that in. Let's set it to false. And then we're going to want to do the opposite. So let's uh, grab the character movement component and let's make sure we set max walk speed to what it was originally, which is 200. Um, you could set this to a variable if you want like base walk speed, um, but we're not going to do that for this tutorial. We might do it in the future if there are other walk speeds that we want to have. Um, we can set it like that. And this is kind of all you all you really need. So, so yeah, this is all you need for this function. And to make this a little bit more uh, concise and cleaner to work with, let's create a movement category. And then inside that movement category, let's create a sprinting category um, for your variables. So they're more um, concise. Let's move sprint speed and is sprinting into the sprinting folder and clean that up. Okay, so as you can see now, if you go into the third person map and you make this a little bit bigger, if you press play, you will not only have a third person or a true first person perspective, but you will now be able to see that you're walking and then if you set this up you would be sprinting and then stop sprinting so make sure you remember to set that up and then go back into the level and then you're walking and then sprinting as you can see it moves a little bit faster and then walking again so yeah that's um for this tutorial that will be it but if you guys want um, for the next tutorial, I will be creating a um, system where we do a depth of field. So like, for example, if you are walking, if you're ever standing right here, this uh, block right here would be in focus and behind it would not be based on the um, a line that shoots out and detects where the wall is and makes everything else post processing foggy or uh, blurry, my fault. And then we're also going to be creating um, not only depth of field, but also a head bob system for when you're walking, um, sprinting versus just idle. So yeah, let me know if you guys want those tutorials um, and I will probably be expanding off of this true first person perspective that we have. So yeah, thank you for watching and leave a comment if you do like these tutorials um, as I'll probably be doing a lot more.